Hello Zebraherd, the arcade classic Pac-Man has made his way to Minecraft in the Minecraft Pac-Man DLC. In this game, we have to survive mazes while ghosts hunt us down, including a brand new creeper ghost. We also get to explore the Pac-Man world to collect all of the costumes. This is a really fun Minecraft twist on the classic Pac-Man game, so I'm really excited to play it. Let's get started. Are we ready for a Minecraft Pac-Man adventure? Look at this, we even get the V Pac-Man. Whoa, the ghosts around up there. This is sort of spooky for some reason. So as you can see, we can attack to cycle, use to select, gotcha. So we'll try out the little arcade machine here. And there we go, tutorial ready. Oh, oh, I see. So this is choosing my levels. How do I go back? Um. Maybe like this? Not quite. I'm a little confused. Yeah, these are all locked. Oh, so I think I'm selecting my level here. Here we go, confirm. It actually worked this time. Um, Yeah, I wanna confirm this one. This is our tutorial level. There we go, loading maze. Whoa, this is so cool. Look at us. So we're just going. Um, Where'd I go? Uh, here we go, we're into all the power pellets. Eating pack dots give you points. So, as far as I can tell, this is sort of like classic Pac-Man, but in Minecraft. So I can go third person, first person, all that kind of stuff. I think I'll keep it to first person for now. I don't know how to keep track. Whoa, there's a power pellet. Watch out for ghosts, get too close and you'll lose life. Um, so I don't see any ghosts just yet, but with this power pellet, we should be able to gobble them up, no problem. Oh, that's so cool. So we'll have to look all around and try to find as many power pellets as possible. Uh, but there's no map or anything. I got another power pellet. Where are those ghosts at? We gotta find them. So it looks like I, I've reached some kind of big circle here, right? So far, so good. Ooh. Oh, I can see them coming up. Whoa, okay, that makes sense. So I can look up to sort of get a good idea. Oh no, there goes one, run, run, run. The retro reflection above you shows what's happening below. Hold to uh, get a sneak peek. Hold what? I'm not sure. Uh, now's not a good time to check though. Uh, the arrows, oh gosh, whoa. I have to replay this just to sort of figure out more about what's going on, but we're getting there. Oh, you do not look happy. You don't look happy one bit. Oh, fruit! There we go, that should give us some extra points. Fruits restore stamina, increase points earned. Some have special effects. Ah! Coca, Coca this is a lot scarier than normal pack, man. Oh, so Pinky's coming up. Gotta run, gotta run, but I got all the pack dots there. I can grab these ones. So this is a good way to check between corners and stuff where we're going. Creepy has joined the game. Who's Creepy? Is that a different ghost? Get too close to Creepy and he'll kaboom. Whoa, so he's like a creeper ghost? That's cool. So there's not too many ghosts around here, so I wanna save that one for later. I wonder if I can jump over them. I don't think so. Ah, no! <laughs> <laughs> I lost my life. That's okay, because we still have more. I do see a fruit over that way or something. Is that health? It might be. So I'm gonna try and grab that really quickly. Watch out for this ghost. No, it's a pear. Gotcha. That's cool. And then over this way, here's one of the power pellets. Gotcha. Where are those ghosts at now? Let's see, you chase me down this time, buddy. And we gotta get them before the power pellet ends. That's awesome. There's a couple more, gotcha. No! <laughs> I ran out of time. But that was the creepy one. That was cool. All right, seven is shown by the blue bar. Keep it high, just run around. See, without that, we just have to walk. This is super difficult so far. There's plenty of stages to get through. So we'll do our best with them. I'm trying to watch out here. Um, but there's some fruit over this way so we can get some more stamina. I almost have all the pack dots. I'm trying my best here. Yeah, a couple more over here. This map is huge, though. Oh, there's Creepy. I really don't like Creepy. Oh, no, 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 there he is! Ah, run! Whoa, he exploded the whole thing. That's so cool. And that might make it a little bit easier to get around, actually. Okay, well, don't mind if I do. That's so neat that they added a little bit to the game that's sort of Minecraft-themed. Okay, I'm gonna go this way. And here's my power pellet, which I might use just to sort of grab the rest of everything. Because I think we're coming up on the end, maybe, sort of. There's another ghost for us to get, but I think I want to focus on the power pellets more. Because this might be the last little cluster of them. I sure hope it is. 
Come on. That was it, tutorial complete. That is great. So now I can try another level. New maze unlocked. The arcade machine allows you to swap between mazes. Attack to cycle and use right click to play. Complete the previous maze to unlock the next. Oh, what is this? Whoa, the pack axe allows you to break through walls. Try it on, on the walls either side of the arcade. Whoa, that's so cool. Um, the experience energizer extractor keeps track of all points collected. When the target is hit, uh, a new energizer unlocked, which can also be equipped here. So instead of using that power pellet, I can maybe unlock that soon. I don't think I have enough quite yet, but soon enough, I will. So here's the maze editor where I can make my own mazes. Uh, so I can just break that down. Uh, use your pack to mine through the wall, and this is the maze editor. That seems neat. Uh, build your own maze on the back, black and white platform, and then press play to try it out. Each maze must have a spawn point and a ghost house. Each block represents an area three times bigger in game. So I won't be doing that right now, but there's Pac-Man World, like the game we just played. I'm not sure. Uh, let's try this out. Whoa, there's a whole Pac-Man world to explore. Welcome to Pac-Man world. Find keys in game to unlock different parts of the world and discover some crazy characters. So this is exciting. Whoa, and there's different Pac-Man pellets. That is so neat. I don't know which one to do first. To be honest with you, we could do more of the mazes or we could explore some of Pac-Man world. I think I'll do one more maze and then we'll go back to um, check out some of Pac-Man world. But let's take a look at this. The Pac-Man picker allows you to swap between characters. Search Pac-Man world to unlock more. So we have, of course, Pac-Man, but there's been characters like uh, Miru and then a bunch of blocked ones. So we'll have to unlock some different characters here. That is so neat. And what is this? The high score board keeps track of high scores. The first row for the maze on the arcade machine, while the other rows show you your best scores. Very cool. So obviously I didn't have much of a score for the tutorial, but we're gonna do one more and see how that works. So next up we have maze one. Let's go for it. I'm gonna confirm that and we're off. Okay, so hopefully this one goes a little bit better than last one. I did struggle a little bit, but can I use the maze or the, yeah, I can. That's so cool. I don't know how many times I can use that before it sort of gets used up. Cause I can't imagine you could use it forever, right? But that is so neat. And can I see Pac-Man holding it? Nah, not quite, not quite. It'd be so cool if he was holding it in his hands. But yeah, if you guys haven't seen, I just recently played through the new Pac-Man game, Pac-Man World Repack, and that was a ton of fun. Okay, the ghost is right behind me. Turn around. Oh, you're in trouble. See ya, Pinky. And I'll go this way and grab some fruit so that we can keep our salmon up, keep running and everything. The snow goes down this way. So if there are a lot of ghosts chasing us, maybe we could use this pickaxe to sort of find our way through. Oh, and this is gonna, yeah, swap me over to this side, which is pretty good. Oh no, here comes, I think, Pinky. Besides Pinky, I get their names except pretty quickly. Okay, they disappeared for now. I'm going to save the power pellet for later if I can. Oh, I can't go around it. So never mind. we'll use this one, but... Oh no, oh, I didn't mean to drop it. <laughs> Luckily, I picked it back up. So far, so good, though. Uh, we just gotta be careful, pay attention to all of them. Creepy has now showed up. Red is chasing me, I forget what their name is. Uh... Oh, and there's some fruit over this way, a banana. I'll grab that. And we're gonna go, we're gonna run. Ah, uh, they're all chasing me now, I'm so scared. Bag them can be quite the intense game. Okay, there's another one. And then as they get closer, here comes a uh, creepy. I'm gonna grab that, turn around, and make sure they know that they're in huge trouble now for chasing us around, we're gonna chase them back. That's sort of the fun thing about Pac-Man though, is you sort of get the sense of, I guess, like karma in a way, where you know they chase you and then finally you power up, you get to chase them. All right, whoa, 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 let's turn back around, because Creepy's exploding. There we go. Ah, I thought it was, ah, no, no, I got, I got squared in. Oh no. I lost a life, but don't worry, because we have quite a few more left. Or I say quite a few, we have two more left. That's still not too bad though. But geez, that's where the ghosts can get really tricky. They will try to uh, corner you in like that. I need to grab these two, but then we're off this way. And once again, I wanna try to save these power pellets for when the ghosts are really closing in on me. Oh no, there's Pinky. So with Pinky running around, I might wanna go this way, grab as many of the pack dots as I can, and then turn around and get the power pellet. But 
Yeah, I think I want to turn around here. And I could use a little shortcut, maybe. Oh no, 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 what did I do? Uh, I didn't mean to press whatever that was. Uh, all right, now I can grab the power pellet and turn back around on them, which it looks like they're not even that close anymore, so maybe that wasn't worth it, but at the least, we can grab some of that stuff. We gotta go near the ghost house anyway, so. Okay, I got all those. Uh, it's so easy to get turned around, but there we go, we got the level complete. Take a coffee break, yeah, where are we? Whoa. The Pac-Man offices. Oh, this is cool. So I can take a little coffee break around here. This is so relaxing. Um, so I can skip this or quit it, but what is this? So I guess this is where we can chill out. Uh, it looks like it's in the city of Pac-World. Here we go, can I drink this one? I'm not sure. I like the music. There we go. But here's level two. So maybe we'll do one more, but then I want to head out to Pack World. So that's what the coffee break is for. It, it gives you a chance to either continue to the next maze or quit out. So we'll go for another one right here. But then afterwards, I definitely want to, um, oh, okay. I got this. I might as well make the most of it. I don't see any ghosts around just yet, but I do see one now. Can I get you before it's too late? I don't think I can. I'm going to chicken out of that one. I get a little scary. But it's weird how mostly I'll be looking up. Ooh, there's Pinky. Ready, let's get you now, and then I'm going to run over as much as I can. Boom, gotcha. Now that doesn't keep the ghosts away forever, just for a little bit. But sometimes is all you need. Sometimes you just need a few moments of peace to be able to survive. Okay, they're, they're about to turn around on me. Oh boy. Yeah, I'll go this way for now. Oh no, oh no. I think I'm fine. Yeah, I missed a couple over here anyway, so. Let's grab these two. They are chasing me down this way. But I think I wanna take a swift turn over here and this should warp us all the way to this side. Creepy has joined. And creepy is one thing we seem to get a little bit more difficult. It's one more ghost to deal with. Uh, Where are you coming in at? I think I'll just go this way for now. Yeah, definitely because I can grab this strawberry. Oh no, now I gotta go. They're chasing me. Oh, it's so scary. I think I can go this way. Got it, got it. Well, actually, no, no, no. It's so easy to get turned around. I gotta go here, and then here. They're right behind me. Oh no, they're so quick too. Well, luckily with some smooth moves, we got out of there. I'm gonna go this way and grab this power pellet now. And at the least that gives us a few moments of peace. Maybe I can bust my way through here. Here we go, I'm gonna get you real quick. <laughs> that was a good idea. But Creepy over here might have the same idea. So I wanna activate them and then run. And that seems like it cleared out a good spot. So, ah, wait, no, ah, I got cornered again. I'm down to one more life. So I guess, yeah, my lives sort of continue. Hmm, that's odd. So like, what happens if I just choose level three? You know, do I have, do I start with three lives or just however many I had before? This area is so open now. I wanna skip across to here because you can see there's still a couple more points to grab. Add the cherry. Mm -hmm. So I think I'm better off just trying to grab some of this stuff. This is definitely where things can get a little bit scary. I need to run, run, run. Creepy just exploded again. You can tell there's there's a lot to get over here. I wanna save this power pellet for when we absolutely need it, which seems to be right about now. Okay, so I, I, I'm Pac-Man again. Then once I get gobbled up, I did pass one guess, but I'm not gonna worry about it too much because we just finished. We can take a coffee break, and I think that is where, what is that thing? I'm gonna quit out. Game over. So that's pretty cool. I can put my, uh, oh no, I was supposed to, whoops. Okay, my new high score though, not too bad. So I've done maze one and maze two, but I've not quite gotten the maze three. I guess if I wanna get all the way to the end, I need to be able to survive to the end. You can't just do it one level at a time. But as you can see, the farther you get, the more mazes you unlocked. So that's that's pretty cool, but I wanna go and experience Pac-Man World. That sounds like a ton of fun all on its own. So let's look around the big, bright Pac-Man world, which seems to be mostly based off the, uh, I think there was a cartoon TV show. Whoa. No key for this one. Keys can be found in mazes. Use the pack axe to break walls. See, I have the pack axe here, but I can't break every wall. I'll have to look around and see if I can't find it now. And maybe it'd be easier to go in third person. But this is so neat. Just being able to explore the Pac-Man world in Minecraft. I would love to hear if you guys have been able to play this DLC yet and 
you know, maybe you've seen the Pac-Man TV show or maybe even played some of the different Pac-Man games. I'd love to hear all about that too. You're just different experiences with Pac-Man and stuff. Like I've said in my uh, Pac-Man World Repack series, I played the original Pac-Man World when I was young. I've also played some of the Namco Museum games, which have Pac-Man along with other um, Namco classic games. But this is just something totally different, which is fun. So I'm guessing that if we unlock every pellet here, maybe we'll unlock something. Either way, it's definitely worth doing. I still don't have a key. Uh, hmm. But it's gotta be around somewhere. There's so many pellets to grab. But I gotta be able to find something out of all this, you know? It is hard though, because there's no maze for this like we would have in other spots. Here, I'll grab these three. But I'm relatively around where I was before. A couple of different pathways I didn't take. It doesn't look like there's any ghosts or anything on these pathways, so that makes it a little more relaxing. Just sort of chilling out, collecting as many dots as we can. They all seem to lead back to this one tree though, so maybe there's something I can do with the tree. Let's grab these. Maybe I can use the pack ax on the tree. Not really. Hmm. Like I said, there's there's gotta be something. This music's very relaxing though. More doors that we can't get by without a key. So I'll grab the rest of these pellets. Once we get all these, that, that has to do something, right? If not, then maybe it's trying to say that we'll find the keys in the mazes that we play, we just played before. That might be the case as well. So I'm pretty certain I collected all the pack dots and still no key. So yeah, I think that's what it's saying. We need to go back and replay those mazes and break into the walls to see if we can't find keys that way. That will allow us to explore more of Pac-Man world. So there's definitely a good motivator to sort of explore and experience everything. So let me get back to that. We'll get back to level three, which is the farthest I've been, and we'll check out some of that. That'll be pretty fun. Now it looks like actually we did unlock something here. So new unlock. I got this one, I think. Uh, maybe? Okay, this is all locked. This is our normal power pellet. And here we go, we get the flash freeze. Energizer selected. So that's gonna be different than the power pellet. So these aren't just different skins, they're totally new effects. So we're gonna start back at, oh, maybe we could actually start at maze two now. I'm not really sure. Let's try it out. We'll confirm that. And, wait, did it not work? No, maze two. There we go. We're loading the maze up. Here we go. Level one. Oh, so I, I think I see how this works. So it'll be level one, but just in this maze. So I can destroy this stuff, no key. So I might just have to look around a bunch. I'm really not sure how that'll work, but the ghosts are coming in, so I can't just dilly-dally too much. You ready? Oh, I'm turning around on you. Oh yeah, now you're frozen and I can catch up to you way easier. That's actually really cool, I like that. See, the different abilities are gonna be really helpful for different things. But still no key yet, so we don't wanna waste too much time because those ghosts are right back after me. Got it? Oh no. Okay, let's grab that and then break open another wall. Oh no. Uh, let's turn around this way then. Grab some of the ones I missed. Because before I made it pretty far, but that was maze one. Now we're on maze two where the layout's definitely gonna be a little bit different. I do see a watermelon down that way. Did they eat it? I think they did. Took my watermelon. How rude. No, no, it's still there, it's still there. So I guess I'll go around the long way. Got it. And will I be able to chomp them up? <laughs> there we go, that was great. Gonna break a couple more walls. Yeah, I'm not really seeing anything from these. Which is a little bit confusing if you ask me. Oh, there we go, there's one of the keys. All right, we did it. We just have to keep looking. Oh, they're all after me. Run, run, run. But that's fine with me, because I can flip over to this side. It's a lot more calm around here. So maybe I can only find one mate or one key per maze. I'm not really sure, but I probably don't want to push it. So we're just going to keep it going, because we have three lives right now. And whoa, whoa, this one's like some ore. I got to be careful, though, because they're going to be trying to get me. Uh, I think I could get this. Hopefully they don't sneak up behind me, I'm scared. Oh, they might. Oh, it stopped. Uh-oh, uh-oh, Creepy has joined. Maybe Creepy could do it for me. Um, let's see. Ah, oh, he got me. I wasn't expecting that explosion to be so big, but I don't know if that really counted or not. <laughs> it's okay, though. 
See, it's, it's a lot of fun because you can go and find things. You can just try to get uh, the, the secrets, but you can also go for a high score as well. Okay, well, there's Pinky again. I'm gonna grab that, turn back over here and gobble that one up. And then I think, yeah, if you I can reach before time is out, I don't know if I can get the rest of them in time, so I'm just gonna focus on more pellets. This is that one right there. And we should be able to storm down this way and get a lot. While that's happening, try to break up some more. And that'll at least make it more open, make it easier for us to see what's going on. I hope. And then there's another one. Oh, they're frozen over here. Can I get to them in time? That was a big question. Ready, gotcha. And I might be able to get to you. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, gotcha. But there's still one more, the blue one over that way. Got it. And there's so many everywhere. So he's gonna, ooh, be careful, be careful. Pinky is not gonna turn around on me just yet. Cause Pinky is one of the smarter ones. I'll try to cut us off while others will just try to chase us. And some of them just sort of aimlessly go about. And I got, I tried to turn around too quick there. I got a little lost. So I'm not really doing the best in terms of, you know, making things count, but I did get one key. So at the least we'll be able to bring that over to Pac-Man World and explore more areas. So I'm gonna grab all of that. Still so much more to find, but I think I might have found all the pack pellets or the super pellets or whatever, so unfortunately, I'm sort of on my own when it comes to the rest of it. But I think that's fine. If I break that open. Oh no. Oh, the whole group of them. The whole group of them are chasing me. Gonna be a... Ah, no, wait. I got turned around. That's not what I wanted. Right over there. Right over there. Come on. We could do it. We could do it. It's gonna be close. Grab these, I think these are the last three. Yes it is, level complete. So we could keep going if we wanted to, and I think we will. Is there any other ghosts that we might run into? I'm not sure. But, enjoying the Pac-Man offices. What a nice little view. Okay, so let's try it again. Um, We'll skip this so that we can go to the next level. I only have one life left anyways, so I just wanna make the most of this. And I'll break open as much as we can. Hopefully we'll find another key somewhere. Oh, there's another one. Okay, so I have two keys so far, and they're not happy with me because of that. So right behind me, now I'll turn around, grab that, and just go, go, go. So I might wanna try going over this way a little bit. And I try to save those power pellets for whenever the best timing is for them, you know, but Sometimes it can be difficult. I thought I could make it to the fruit first. Ah, uh, that's gonna be... Oh, is that it? Why am I up here? Game over. There it is. That was still a lot of fun. Uh, I'll submit my score just so we can keep moving. Uh, there you go. And now with two keys, we should be able to open up a lot more of Pac-Man World. And it looks like we did unlock a couple more mazes too, so... No, 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 not what I wanted. Uh, we have maze three. Maze four is still locked though. So the more we play, the more we'll unlock. For right now though, I wanna explore some of Pac-Man world with our keys. So I think there was an area to the left. I wanna explore a little bit of. And as we explore these, we should be able to find more character stuff. So unlike some of the other DLCs we've played, this one doesn't seem to have a story to follow. It's more so just exploring around to our heart's content and doing whatever we can. I'll try my best to find everything and to do everything, but I'm not sure if we'll be able to get to all of it in one video. Like I said, we'll try our best. And what's going on down this way? Ooh, maybe I can use my pack ax to break open this ore without the fear of a ghost popping up behind me. Come on, almost got it. And that was just a thousand points. So that didn't give me anything too fancy. Just some extra points, but hey, it's always nice to earn up some extra score, right? And I don't really have much of a map, so I just have to make sure that when we're going through with our pack dots, that I explore as much as possible, because look at that, we can find characters, and it's also just a good way to sort of keep track of things. Character unlocked! I think that was a pack boy or something, I'm not really sure. We'll find out once we're back home. Yeah, the pack dots will be a good way for me to track where I've been and where I haven't been. If there are pack dots, I haven't been there. So the places that I am eating at pack dots, I need to make sure we explore well so that I don't need to backtrack and get really lost. So without a map or anything, that's where things get complicated. So we were just under that. So 
So maybe the key will lead to one new character each or something like that, because it looks like we've just made it full circle. Gotcha. So we do have another key. I want to use that over this way, if possible, because I think there's yet yeah, another one right over here. So boom, gonna get that. And we're off to exploring again. So let's see if we can't find another character. Maybe we'll switch to one of those characters after this. Very relaxing area though. I, I do like it a lot. Hmm. I don't see too much going on in these little buildings. So far the world is pretty simple. We just run around, get a new character, and this is Pac-Boy, definitely. So another new character unlocked. We'll go check it out soon. How do I get up this? Um, good question. Maybe I did this the wrong way? I'm not quite sure. Or maybe there's different abilities to unlock at some point. I'm very confused. Because I can't break anything here, right? Doesn't look like it. So I'll go back around and see if we see, can I find some other way through. This way instead, and as far as I can tell, that should drop back down right over here. But is there anything I could have missed? There is some more of the ore that we can mine. And that'll at least be another thousand points. Definitely want to get the highest score that I can manage. Ready and almost got it, come on. There we go, another thousand points for us. But I don't see too much more over here. That's just where we were. So maybe I just went about it the wrong way this time because I'm not seeing anything else to explore. So now we can go back. We used our two keys. We'll have to find some more keys as we're playing through some of the maze, some more of the mazes, especially the new ones we've unlocked. And hopefully we'll unlock some more characters as well. So we're back in the little arcade. I want to check out the new characters we unlocked right over here. Uh, so our character select, of course we had Miru, now we have Pac Baby and Pac Junior. So let me go ahead and do Pac Junior. Yeah, look at us, we got the little cap and everything. Pac Junior was one of the characters we saved in Pac Man World Repack, I think. So let's go ahead and do Maze 3. I think it's the newest one we've unlocked. It looks very complicated, so I'll confirm this one and we'll go into it. <laughs> So hopefully we'll do well here. It is getting more and more difficult to survive these, but I'm just gonna go for it and hope for the best. The first thing I'm looking for though is definitely the key. So if I could just, oh, there's some ore as well. I wanna grab these, cause at the least, I, I haven't broken one of these fully. No, wait, I don't, ah! <laughs> That's so scary, I don't like it. But um, I found one of them, I just couldn't break it in time. I think it's just gonna be extra points. I don't think it's gonna be a key, but speaking of, there's one. All right, well, they are hot on my trail right now, so I need to be quick about this. I don't think that dropped anything, but we're on the other side now. Got it. Ooh, whoa, whoa, that teleported me. What kind of fruit was that? I think it was a peach. Okay, good to know. So some of them can be very, very powerful. And knowing when to break blocks is gonna be a huge key. That really does change up the game. Why is there, oh, there's like a whole cluster of them. So that's sort of the different thing about this level layout. I don't know if that was the best idea for right now because there wasn't really too many ghosts near me but I'm just trying to break what I can in the meantime and see if I can't find another key. So far, no, but I'll keep looking around because you never know where we might find one. But there's Pinky chasing me. Oh, there's a huge cluster of them here too. And that's sort of the nice thing about, you know, Minecraft is that we have a full range of moment, mo movement. It's not just, you know, up, down, left, and right like normal Pac-Man. So that does give us a lot of opportunities. Whoa, oh, and there was another ore, but there's too many ghosts. Too many of them close to me. Don't wanna deal with that, but I do see you. Oh boy, Creepy's coming in now. Oh no, I hear him. And I don't know if he's going to, whoa, they're right behind me. Break any blocks that'll give me a key? Probably not. I'm guessing whatever things he explodes don't really do anything for me. Oh, there's an orange. I'll grab that for a stamina refill. But it's interesting that, you know, at its core, it's still classic Pac-Man, but it has this twist to it with the mining and the fruit stamina that really does make it a lot different. It looks like really all the power-ups are in that one big cluster, which in some ways isn't the best because if the ghosts just aren't around there, and they're all down here, can't really do too much about it. I thought I can feel it, they're coming up to me. Let's grab whatever I can, and then when they're closer to me, boom, freeze them, I'll eat you up. And these two, oh, this was a good idea. This is a great idea. There we go, there's so many of them taken out there so I can grab some more of the pellets. 
looking around for another key wherever it might be. Ooh, there's a pair over that way. And I don't know if finding the keys is random. Oh, they are not happy with me. They're all storming over. Oh, they're all storming over. Yeah, that didn't drop anything that time. But it's so open now. It does actually make it easier to dodge the ghosts in a way. Come on, run, Pac-Man, run. Or I guess we're, we're Pac Junior now. But maybe there were some keys on maze one I didn't get all of, you know? Is that a thing I have to keep in mind? I'm not really quite sure. I'll try to unlock whatever I can in today's video. I don't know if we'll get everything. Usually with these, I try to, you know, complete whatever main story there is, but with this, oh, I didn't even see you there. Uh, with this, obviously there isn't really a story. It's just sort of playing Pac-Man. Okay, I'll run over to this one real quick. Grab some of that. Oh, here's one. I think I can get this maybe before they catch up to me. Oh, it's gonna be close. Whoa, wait, oh, that's how I look at the map, sort of. Um, all it does is make me look up, which is honestly not that useful because I can just look up myself, I think. Yeah, uh, so if I duck, that's how I do that. I don't like that very much, it's very disorienting. I just like doing it myself. I really wanted to get this, but I just don't think I can do it in time. Hmm. But I might try to do what I did before, where I wait for them all to catch up to me and then I activate some of these power pellets and go crazy on them. But I think actually this might be the last of what I need, so might not be worth worrying about. We get a level complete, and seeing how I've seen all this before, I'll just skip to the next one. And as soon as I can, I wanna start breaking some blocks and see if I can't find anything out of them. Ooh, I get a pair. And the ghosts are gonna be catching up to me, but this is sort of just the best time to break some. Okay, here comes one of them. They're not happy with me, so I wanna run over. I think it dropped the fruit, but I don't really need it too much just right away. Okay, now that they're so close to me, I might wanna run a little bit more. Okay, nothing out of that one. Let's get this big cluster just like that super easily. So obviously, I'm not the best at Pac-Man, but I'm just doing what I can to learn from each attempt. Ooh, there's another one. Okay, I'm trying to break this one. There we go. No keys though. Looking all over for him. There's gotta be one chilling around somewhere, right? Got it. And got it. I'm not seeing too many at the moment, so I should be able to do this. Oh, here they come. <laughs> He's not looking so good. He looked like he was feeling a little sick or something. I'm gonna wait until you're right here and then go for it. Freeze you all up. So there's one and another. I don't know if I'm gonna find too much more. Oh wait, there's one right here. I don't think I'm going to be able to get to in time. I don't wanna end up getting hurt from it. So it's gotta wait, just gotta wait. And I don't know if I should just go around the long way for now. Cause you're pretty quick and you're trying to cut me off. Ooh, some quick moves there. Just barely saved us, but keep it moving this way. Creepy hasn't spawned in yet, but I'm sure they're coming soon. So gotta be ready for that. I'm just gonna keep going this way. Maybe I'll go down like this. I can't run while looking up like that. Yeah, that, that is not really good to do. Uh, was that my last life? Oh, it was. Whoops, game over. But hey, I got another key for that, so that's great. And I hope I unlock the next maze. I guess we're gonna find out. Um, it looks like I did. So here's maze four, and there's 10 of them in total. So it will take us a while to do, but let's try maze four now since that's our farthest one. <laughs> Let's go for it. So Pac Jr's working out pretty well. Of course, the gameplay isn't any different when we play as these characters. It just, the, um, the visuals of them is. But it is really just fun to see yet another uh, game that has like the custom models. We played the Minecraft Sonic and the Minecraft SpongeBob, and both of those had like totally different models for the characters themselves. I shouldn't have activated that just yet, but I'm gonna make the most of it while I can. Come on. Yeah, not too much happening there. Hmm. Whoa, gonna hold on before getting that one. Well, here they are ready, and go for it. Gonna eat you up. I think Pinky was right around here. You're right around the corner. I might be able to get you before time is out. Awesome. And I'm still just looking for another key. I don't know if there's any difference in the blocks, if I should be looking for something when looking for the key. 
Oh no, and I was so focused on it that I didn't notice I was running right into a ghost. Uh-oh. There's still so much of this map to clear out too, so these get really tough. For sure. To do that and to look for the keys is sort of a tall task. But that's sort of the fun and the challenge right there's a key. Finally found one. Whoa. Oh yeah, okay, I walked to the other side. Hmm. Just trying to grab what I can, but I gotta be careful because they're coming over. I'm going to go this way for now. Ooh, they're really trying to close in on me. Let's get up here. And creepy joined. Oh no. And I know it's possible to find two keys in one level. We did it before. Oh no, I'll have to go back for that one pellet. Ah! <laughs> okay, we're fine, we're fine. It's all right. We survived. And I do see this one power pellet. I might just want to wait a little bit. But luckily I could just break blocks and go around it. Well, sort of. I think I could have, I just didn't do it right. So let's do that now. Let's just make some options so I can get around more easily. Oh, there's Creepy again! Did that really get me? I didn't think I was that close, but here's our last life. Let's really make the most of it. Okay, so the ghosts are gonna be coming out of that ghost house pretty soon. But yeah, going around the corner like that and breaking them is probably the most efficient way of doing it. That way we're still moving. The only problem is you really have to keep track of where the ghosts are when you do that, because if not, you'll be walking straight into them. Okay, I do see a lot over there. And, ooh, ooh, did they notice me? They do notice me. Oh, now it's a chase. I gotta go this way. There we go. Now I'm on this side. Because there should be one last super pellet. Or whatever it is for this one. Ooh, but will I get there in time? Come on, come on, just gotta run over. Ready, and gotcha. Now I can turn around on them. There's at least a couple to get here. Here's you, and you, and you. Very nice. I don't think I'll be able to get to you in time. Oh, I see, so if I just break it without hitting the ore, I can break it with the normal speed. Oh, here comes Creepy again. Please don't blow me up, Creepy. Let's at least get through one stage of stage four, though. Oh, that wasn't all of them. What am I missing? Oh, there's a cluster way in the center. Ooh, that's gonna be tough. But I think I got it. If I can just run across here. This is it, this is it. Come on, come on. Boom, got it. So luckily I got one done in maze number four. That's what I'm always trying for, is just to make it a little bit. But now that we've eaten up our coffee, we get to go again. And there's a key right away. Awesome, so two more keys from this maze. That's always good to see. So what happens if I break this? Can I just go out forever? It's gotta end at some point, right? I know the ghosts are probably right behind me, but I'm really curious. Whoa, there's another key! See what happens now. Yeah, I guess it's just, I gotta be really careful doing this because I'm making a dead end or they could catch up to me. Okay, we're just gonna go this way. Ah, uh, because they are all over me. I don't like it. No! <laughs> all right, well those are some quick ghosts, aren't they? So we found three keys out of that maze and I found one from the attempt before, right? So I think we have four keys now. If I'm not mistaken, yeah, we have four keys. So let's go and check out four more of the doors and hopefully we'll unlock more costumes that way. So we had two doors opened up already. Our third one should be somewhere around here. Just trying to be very diligent with it so I don't miss anything, but boom, there we go. Another door opened. Just gonna follow these pack dots for now and hope that we don't miss anything. But it seems pretty clearly segmented what we're supposed to do, how we're supposed to do it, so I don't think we'll miss much. Yeah, that's where we're supposed to hop down later, I think. Yeah, we're just back to earning up more points in pack growth. And there is our next pack, man. It's gonna be Professor Pack. So let's run up here and save you. Character unlocked. See, that's a bit odd. Why would I have gone the other way? But I guess there is a path this way. Where, where will this lead to? Nothing really, it's just a little tree area. Very relaxing, for sure, but... Yeah, I don't know if I'm doing something wrong with that or what. Hmm. Because I can't get up there like that. But I definitely want to wrap around so we can get the extra pack pellets. So let me go do that really quickly. I think that was, yeah, right over here. So maybe whenever I see a break in them, I'll, I'll go do that. So I don't see too much I can do over this way, but there usually is at least one spot where I can break and get some extra points. And I think we're coming up on it right over here. So yeah, I'll definitely grab that. 
So I'd like to maximize my score here in Pack World. It seems like there's definitely a limit on how, how high you could get your score here, just de determined by how many pack pellets you can find. And I think that's gonna be it for this side. There we go. So now that we've made it full circle, I've got all those pellets, I'll go back and try another door. So here's another door for us to open up. And just like before, we'll just have to travel through it and see if we can't find... See, normally you would think this would mean you'd go down this way, right? But I'm going to go this way instead because I'm pretty sure it's gonna drop off and that's how you do it. It's, it's very weird how it leads you like that, but hey, if I, if I figured it out, then that's all that matters. Yeah, it looks like I have. So I'll grab all those pack dots and then I'll break this one for some extra points. It'll be another thousand for us, which I will happily have. I love how the pickaxe really does look like Pac-Man just gobbling up something. Very neat. So there's another thousand points for us. We'll pop right down here and get back to collecting. So which character will we unlock this time? Is that, I don't know what Pac-Man that is. What you're saying? Maybe some kind of Pac grandpa? We'll find out soon enough. I'll go through all the characters once we get them all, but I don't know how many doors are left. I think it really might be two more doors, maybe three. So it would be very cool if we can unlock all the characters in today's video at the least. We'll definitely have to try for it, but for right now, I'm running back over here, and I think that'll be the end of this line. So we still have two more doors to open up over here. Here's our next door. I'm pretty sure there's only two doors left. Whoa, look at this. That's a really tall building. Look at the Pac-Man World City. Not quite hustling and bustling. We haven't seen too many people, but very interesting nonetheless. So I'm gonna go down this way, I guess? Yeah, sure. Let's go down this way. Look out for those extra points to grab. Oh, there they are. So if we did it correctly, it seems like we'll run into this bonus point area before the character. So that's good to keep in mind. And that's another 1,000. Yeah, we have over 12,000 points in total. Quite the score. I think, oh, who is this? Is that Cowboy Bagman? It sort of looks like it. It sort of looks like a cowboy hat to me. There we go, character unlocked. So we're still uh, Pac Jr. But it is so cool that, you know, Minecraft now has these mashup packs where there's custom modeling in it. I was never expecting that, you know? So such a cool addition to the game and I've been really enjoying checking out all these DLC. There's still so many more to see too. So definitely stay tuned as we keep playing more Minecraft mashup packs. But let's see, the last door should be somewhere around here. I think at the least. So open this up and then we'll look around to see if there's any other doors we might have missed. But I'm fairly certain that'll be it. So it wants me to go that way. Instead, I'll be going this way. Let's see if we find any bonus points or anything. Ooh, maybe in here. Oh, this is a neat little area, but it doesn't lead to anything. Just a little foray in the path. Oh, here we go. Whoa, the colors are so interesting when you see it at an angle like that. I like it. Okay, so definitely just wanna keep mining this and boom, right? Oh no, a little too soon. There it is, thousand more points for us. Don't miss that one pellet in the corner. Whoa, it's super pack, that's cool. Definitely wanna unlock that one. And let's see, we'll have to continue this path over here. But I think that might be all the doors. I think we might've found everything. I'll definitely try to look around a little bit just to be extra sure of that before we move on. But I, I really do, do not think there's any more doors because the exit's right over there. So yeah, I, I don't see any other doors around. So I think we've fully explored Pack World. That's excellent. So now we can double check to see if we've unlocked all the characters and see if there's any extra pellets and stuff we can unlock, any power-ups. So let's see. We currently have Pac Jr. Um, but we also have Professor Pac-Man, who I can uh, switch to. You can see him. Hello. I love his glasses. Uh, next up we have Mr. Cookie. I, I don't really know which game this guy is from. Mr. Cookie's here. Guess he makes cookies. Uh, Pac Ranger. Pretty close to a cowboy Pac-Man. I like it. Then we have Super Pac-Man. I like it. Awesome with the cape and everything. 
Then we have just normal Pac-Man. So it looks like we really have unlocked all the different costumes. We did a great job with that. Now, if we wanna keep playing, we could try to get higher points in total and unlock different things. We do have more power-ups already. Like we have Flash Freeze, now we have Sizzling Storm. So I wanna get that Energizer selected. But then next up, we'll have something that's locked for now, but we're almost there. We need 10,000 points, I guess. That's so weird, because it says I have 13,000 points. I'm not really sure why we don't have that one then. Huh, weird. So I figure we'll do one last maze for the road with maze number five. I know that says a lot more, but this one's so oddly simple. Gotcha. But we'll have our new energizer, uh, whatever it was. Let's see what it was called. It was the sizzling storm. So we'll try this one out. We'll do one last maze for today's video. Yep, confirm that. <laughs> Let's go into maze number five. Ooh, level one, here we go. So I, I might wanna start with digging around. Obviously I won't need to as much now that I'm not looking for keys. But my big goal is to find things like this, but I don't know if I could break it in time because Red is coming in. Oh, I'm a little scared. I might back out on this. Come on, can I get it, can I get it, can I get it? I got it, a thousand points for us. And I picked up that peach which teleported me. Maybe not to the most useful spot, but it did teleport me. Oh my goodness. All right, I don't know how I feel about that one. But it's okay, we're just gonna keep it moving. Um, break th things where I can, because we could get extra fruit. That's still gonna be bonus points for us, I believe. But I am looking. I don't know if there's any power pellets. Oh, I see, there is a power pellet, but it's behind a few walls. Okay, so that does make things tricky. So picking up fruit does not give me bonus points. Okay, then I'm not gonna worry about digging as much as I was then. This is the pack pellets, and of course the power-ups. See, getting to that is gonna be a challenge. But I can, right there. Whoa, 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 whoa. Everybody's getting zapped. My goodness. Creepy's joining. Well, Creepy doesn't stand a chance at this rate. Wow, this is ridiculous. It was very loud, too. Okay, so that was really cool. Oh, I see Creepy over there. Are they gonna turn on this way? It looks like they're not. But that was my only power up for this entire map. So you can see how they're getting more and more difficult as we go along. I need to go um, nowhere. <laughs> I got really cornered on that one. So using up the using the power ups and digging to our advantage is really important in this game. Because if not, those ghosts will corner you, and it's not so fun when they do that. And especially for maze like this, we need to save that power pellet for when we absolutely need it. Okay, well, Pinky is deciding if they want to turn it on to me. Um, I think we're good to go down this way. There's only a few more pellets remaining on this map. I think, yeah, right here. So I might be able to get to them. No, I can't, no, I can't, no, I can't. Oh, no. Come on, it's the last couple of them. Are you cutting me off again? This is not cool. Oh, my gosh, come on. Uh, looks like I'm gonna get game over. So I think we'll leave it at that. Obviously, I am no Pac-Man master, but I had a lot of fun trying to sell all the different mazes and stuff and unlocking all the characters in Pac-Man world. That was probably my highlight is that there's a little bit of a world to explore. It's not quite an adventure map as we've seen with like uh, some of the different ones like the um, SpongeBob one and the uh, Minions ones, but it's still a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. And definitely let me know your th thoughts on this one. Were you able to get the Pac-Man Minecraft mashup pack? And on top of that, what are your thoughts on it? Did you enjoy it? All that kind of stuff. Um, but for right now, let's stay tuned because we'll be playing more Minecraft packs like this super duper soon. But for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Zebra's Minecraft Fun. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.